Hi, I'm Ryan Westbrook, and you're watching Difference Makers, an original content series highlighting current student athletes who are taking their skills and traits home through sports to become difference makers in their corporate fields. Today, we're at Quaid Tower in Brooklyn Heights, New York, here with Anna Zhang, a junior tennis player from Columbia University. Anna, thanks so much for being with us today. Hi, oh, thank you for having me. Of course, of course. You're from Dallas, Texas. Uh, you're all the way up here in the big city. How was that transition? Uh, it definitely is a big transition. Growing up with a lot of space and then coming into New York, not a lot of space and just kind of this fast paced environment has really like drives like my experience here. Columbia is recognized as one of the toughest schools in the country academically. And I know tennis is not an easy sport uh, to participate in. How do you balance the academic load as well as the athletic load? One way I balance it is by having a schedule. Like I have everything on my Google Doc, like my Google Calendar is filled. Curating a schedule that really like helps me um, perform at my best. You know, so many people think that tennis um, is an individual sport, but it truly is a team sport. And part of team sports is getting the best out of your your other players, of your other teammates, is almost the same thing in the corporate world. You gotta get the best out of other people in your in your business, other people at your company as well. How do you think the skill sets that you learn in tennis can translate to the corporate world as well? I think a big one is like determination and your kind of drive um, to do something to the best of your abilities. And like also the competitiveness of being like an athlete. I feel like a lot of athletes that I've kind of experience and like interacted with are very passionate about their sports and passionate about what they're doing and bring that passion to like the business world I think can like where you can really accomplish like amazing things. You know the best thing about sports is you learn so many skills you know you win lose sets you still <laughs> got to try to figure out how to come back and win the match things yeah. like that. What are some of those skills that you have learned while in school that you think can transfer into the corporate world? Resiliency and like being able to like face adversity whenever it comes because it, you're gonna have ups and downs in your career, athletic or in like your professional career. And so being able to kind of deal with the adversity faced on is something that I think a lot of student athletes are able to do because of the mental toughness they've kind mm -hmm. of built throughout their experiences. Tennis is a very reactive sport. Mm -hmm. So you are not playing against yourself. You are playing against someone else who has their strengths and their weaknesses. And you kind of have to go on court and like within the first few games, you need to figure out what it is. So a lot makes you like problem solve and like try to figure out. You mentioned that tennis is like a more of reactive sport. What I found is that when I was looking for a job, I had to be much more proactive. I had to mm -hmm. make the phone calls. How do you think tennis has prepared you for that proactive side? I think playing tennis is reactive, but you have to be very proactive in tennis to prepare yourself to play those matches. And you have to do rehab, you have to go like to the gym, strength, conditioning, eating healthy, nutrition, sleeping well. You need to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. That's like a common saying in this like sports world. I think that translates well with like athletes because they are already comfortable with being uncomfortable. I love that when you say being comfortable with being uncomfortable, <laughs> which is truly the athletic mindset. What were some of the things that helped drive you to be the, the the top tier athlete over at Columbia that you are? I think my slight fear of failing, just the thought of like failing or not succeeding or not being able to perform at my best or like reach my maximum potential is something like that fear really drives me. How do you think that's gonna translate into the, a corporate setting? I think it's very similar because it's like your fear of like pitching something or if you're like your business not working will drive me to like do my best or like perform at my best. You know, you had to zero in on specific goals, specific things that you wanted to do in your sports career. How do you think that's going to be able to translate into the corporate world? Well, I think goal setting is something that is applicable in both like sports and in the corporate world because being able to have like a step by step plan kind of narrows down the intimidating parts of like things and having some like a concrete goal to hit. Part of your goal was to go to Columbia school to be able to play tennis. You successfully did that. You <laughs> played at a high level, successfully did that. Um, that's super impressive. Oh, thank you so much. Do you mind if I ask a question? Of course. <laughs> but earlier you kind of mentioned that you are investing in like woman-led and like minority-led um, companies. So what kind of inspired you to, or like drove you to uh, be doing that? Yeah, so from our company, Underdog Venture Team, we have a venture park. We've pledged that 66% of 
of the startups that we're going to help are going to be women-led or minor minority-led startups. The truth is that women-led startups, minority-led startups don't find the same funding. They can't find the same support. They can't find the same leadership. When I look at the most successful businesses, this diversity of thought, diversity of personnel, um, and diversity has to be intentional. And so we have to intentionally go out there and look for those startups that need our help. Oh, that's wonderful. Of course. Yeah. You mentioned a couple of things that I think are super important. Mental toughness. If you're not mentally tough in, in the real world, the corporate world, then you won't make it no matter what, because not every day is going to be, you know, bright and sunny. You mentioned focus, being able to say, OK, this is what I need to do. I have to balance my schedule. I have to do all these different things to make me successful. You also mentioned problem solving. Every employer wants a problem solver. Every employer wants someone that says, I'm going to come to you with a solution, not just another problem. These are super important qualities that you already possess through your athletic world. And you learn them through sports to make you more successful in the corporate world. And to me, that means that your future is bright. That means that you have an opportunity to be as successful as you can dream in whatever you want to do next. Mm -hmm. And I'm super happy to be sitting here with you. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you so much.